Uh, hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel called scrolling well today we'll be talking about navigation bar in my last couple of two i think last two tutorials i talk about navigation bar wherever i talk about uh, the vertical aspect of it and I, the horizontal aspect of it under the, but I, under the horizontal aspect of it i told you there are two methods or two ways to create the navigation bar using the using the align method and using the using the floating method well i made a tutorial on that inline method so this tutorial that will be based on floating method so please follow up well let's try and do something today i prefer floating method though let me create edda let me create edda okay mm. Let me create, let me just H1 tag. Let me just cut H1 tag. Okay. So let me put welcome to my website. Welcome to my website. Okay. Let me show, let me show you how this is viewed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Welcome to my website. Welcome to my website. All right. Now I've taught you how to create links. So we create links. Let's create links. So we create nav, and then nav. Then we create all these are only to you. Now we create um unlisted item. Then we create links. Great links, okay, okay, okay. Then we create alpha tag, okay. Put ash here. So later on we put where we want to. We want this to go. So now I have put let's put I think home. Okay. Then let's copy this. I'm listening to the to to copy the type. Then put this. This 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 i think five is okay then let's put um tutorial 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 okay let's put um settings let's put um the product that okay let's put um about us okay about us all right so we created our links let's check here okay these are the links click ever links you see when i click it when i click on it it's changing to red all right now so we've done the green structure now let's go to our css where we do our where we do the presentation all right the first thing we do here is first of all let's address the the u the unlisted item so if you look at the if you look at our items there they have bullets so the first thing we do is we remove the bullets how do we do that you remember in the last story i told you, you use list type that you put noun okay saved let's check do you notice anything the bullet are gone all right then we set our margin we set our margin let's say padding first that doesn't matter though let's say padding two is zero pixel then our margin two zero pixel okay that's it check anything you see it is good yeah that's what i'm talking about man that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about all right so the next thing we do is you now this is the same with the with the in our previous tutorial so that's what we do what do you think we should do well since we are using the floating method this is what we do we set the overflow set our overflow to eating okay 
you check again all right nothing right um let's leave it this way should i say the background color i'll do that later well right, let's go to the list item this is a part that we actually want you said display and i will set to what float right float what oh we said that float i put let oh, oh, oh. good 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 so we check again what's there you see you see you see you see you see i hope you see what i'm saying so they are floating left all right then the next thing we do is we target we target this transfer tag we target this okay no we're done with we're done with this we targeted this now we're targeting the, the alpha tags okay then we go to list item alpha tags then what do we do well what do you think we should do here let's set the background background color let's set it to red okay let's see let's see let's see okay that's red let's set the body mm -hmm. let's say i use 16 pixel okay let's check all right all right all right okay 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 so what does it think we should do now the next thing we do is under here let's see the background color let's see the background color to green okay let's check Okay, so this is green all right i'll show you what i'm trying to do so okay let's remove this let's remove this let's remove this okay now let's set the display let's set display to block so display to block if you look at this place so so it will be clip cable so you can click it you can click the block okay so let's change the color of the text let's the color of the text let's change the color just put color then let's change to white let's change to white okay okay you check okay you see if you notice that they are still on the line right so to remove that let's say the text decoration okay that's the correction we put now and believe me the other line is gone check 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 it disappeared we like and change the font let's change the font with a little bigger right let's change the font font size let's put um let's put what let's put 10 pizza that's if you like if you want though most times we don't use it though so oh, i think that's small that is small okay let's use 25 you that's not bigger let's use 25 okay see you can change the fonts if you like anyways so let's align the text to be in the center okay text align text align let's put center okay i think okay so that is in the center now you see it's still okay now let's change the over 
okay 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 let me change this to gray so green I think so to make it more beautiful at least okay gray yeah we'll talk about colors later you can use names of colors you can use um okay this gray all right all right so this is floating method now let's over it now Okay, let's talk about list item. Okay. Over. Alright. Okay. Let's change the let's change the background color. Let's change my background background color too. Okay, we don't have green. Let's change the uh, let's change the green. Then let's change the color of the text. Color of the text, let's change it to black black and white black and yellow black and yellow all right let's check okay you see you see you see you see all right oh so these are in small letters okay we can change the capital letter doesn't matter all right okay what can we do that let's just go to revision then we change it to okay scrap to later doesn't matter okay all right mm -hmm. so when you hover it it shows green color this is a background color gray this color is what is red well you can change this color it doesn't really matter you can change this color if that is what you want you can change the colors I'm, I'm currently working on on, uh, on something so we can change this color if that is what you actually want all right so what else do we think we should do it's of over let's change it to active so you see what i'm talking about i think i talked about the 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 atm links on that the right time so we can change this to let's change it to active change it to active Okay. You see, you see. Alright, reload. You see, you see. Nothing is doing right. Now click on it. You see. I'm current on home, so you change the green and change the color to black. On tutorial, you see. When you click on it, I say. When you click on it, when you click on it. Yeah, that is that about that. But let's change it back to over. I love over. Uh, you over it's something. Love it. So. Okay, you see that's beautiful, right? That's nice. Anyway, you can also fix this. Not to, you can make it to be fixed. Mm -hmm. For change the fixed position. To do that, you can just simply go to unlisted item. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. And change it like this. All right. Then I change the position fixed so when you scroll it will move you can change the mm, 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 mm. top let's put zero pixel let's put zero pixel and let's put um wideness let's put percentage to make it possible all right let's check You see, so this is fixed. But anyways, anyways, I remove that. If I'm actually when I'm done with my design, it's way When I'm done with my design, so it's preferable because you know it moved the head at the right time. Now the other is back because I changed this because I changed the top to be zero, so it's going to move towards the it's always towards the upper part of the browser. So whatever is there is going to override it. So uh, sometimes can, we might not change it to user user can just change the top to probably twenty or something. So to make the 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 headers to be there. So that is that about creating navigation bar. Well, let me remove the background. Let me remove the background. Let me remove the background. Yeah. Okay. You can like. You can use. We can use. Um, you can use anything you like. 
character that is that you see so that is all about creating horizontal horizontal navigation bar using using floating method thank you for watching this tutorial see you in my next tutorial